What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to query data out of data frames because as we already mentioned, data frames are very similar to SQL tables and in SQL you can just query data out of the tables of the database and we're going to do the same thing in Pandas today with data frames. Uh, and also we're going to take a look at how to read from CSV files into data frames. So let us get into the code. So we start by importing pandas as pd, no surprise here. And today we're not going to create our dictionary and then transform it into a data frame. What we're going to do is we're going to create a CSV file and then import that CSV file into pandas. So I'm going to click here, a right click and say new file and just name it people.csv. And here we're just going to um, provide SSN and we're going to separate all things by commas. So it's SSN, then name, age, and height. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, one, Anna, age is 45, height is 167. Then uh, two, John, 65 years old. Yeah, they're always changing their social security number, their height, their age, everything. Just the name stays the same. Um, 188, five could be uh, Bob, he's 45 also, and 178, and last but not least, social security number eight, Mike, and he's 56, or let's make him a little bit younger, 26, uh, and he's 167. No, okay, we have that value already, uh, 169. So this is now our CSV file, and um, usually CSV is a very popular format for, uh, for saving data, for uh, also uploading data sets. So we should know how to deal with that. And what we're going to do now, so we're just going to say df equals pd.readcsv, and providing the people.csv file name, and we can also specify the delimiter to be a uh, comma. Of course, you don't have to choose comma. I can also go ahead and say, uh, or use semicolons or tabs is also a valid uh, separator or delimiter. And to see if that works, we're just going to print a data frame. Should work. Doesn't work. Delimiter, delimiter, sorry. then it should work. Yeah, as you can see it works. The only thing that we need to do now is to set the index. So df.set index is the SSN column and in place equals true. Should work. Yeah, now we have a data set as we know it. And as I said, today we're going to learn how to query data out of that data set. So how can we say, give me all the columns that have an age higher than uh, X, Y, Z, or that have a height between this and that. Um, because this is what we can do in SQL statements. We can say select uh, name from a data frame where age is greater than 40, for example. This would be an SQL statement, and we can do the same things here in data frames in a different way, of course. So what I'm going to say is I'm just going to say print df dot lock for location. So we need to use the lock keyword. And in here, we're going to uh, open up square brackets and say df. And then we're going to choose the column that we want to uh, query for or that we want to uh, check or make a condition on. So I'm going to say give me all the uh, rows, the data rows that have an H, for example, that is uh, equal to 45. And when I print that, you'll see that we have two entries here with the age 45. And I get Anna and Bob as a result. Now, of course, what I can also do is I can just say, give me all the ages that are greater than 45. And this would be only John. And if I say greater or equal to, it would give me John, Anna and Bob. At least it should be. Yeah. Um, of course, what I can do is I can also put this into parentheses here and then just use the and symbol here and just say, okay, the H has to be 
greater or equal to 45, but the height has to also be greater than 170 centimeters. So I'm going to say height is greater than uh, 170. And this, of course, eliminates uh, Anna from this list here because Anna is 167 centimeters high, so we only have John and Bob left. And now what I can also do is I can just go ahead at the end here and say, okay, which columns am I even interested in? I don't want to know the height and age maybe or um, anything but the social security number. So I can just go ahead and say social security number or just give me the name. So give me the same results, but only give me the names. So I get John and Bob. Now, of course, the index is all, all, always part of that because it's uh, the primary key if you want to compare it with SQL structures. So that is basically how you query data out of data frames. So that's it for this video. And I also think that's it for the data science series because now we covered almost everything that you need to know about data science. Of course, if I find some topic that I haven't covered yet that I wanna cover in the future, I might make some extra episodes, but I think that for now we're done with the data science tutorials and we can continue on with the machine learning tutorials. So now we're getting into my favorite part of Python programming, my favorite field of computer science, machine learning. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this tutorials here. If so, hit the like button to support this channel. And of course, feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more future videos. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.